It's the ha happiest season of all. Hot chocolate season. <laughs> and you are going head to head to create your very best holiday dessert inspired by the hot cocoa bombs that took TikTok by storm. The original version got over 7 million views in 10 hours, and the hashtag has been viewed more than 200 million times on TikTok. Now it's your turn to create a dessert with a surprise reveal inspired by the hot chocolate bombs. You can make anything you want, but it must have a wowza reveal moment. You've got one hour to make our mouths water. Ho, ho, go! They tell us it's gotta be a dessert. This isn't so great for me. I'm not very good at making it, and I don't really like sweets. I grew up in a family of dentists. I'm pretty nervous for this challenge because dessert is not my forte. Frankie, what are you gonna make? Pick me up. Huh? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, tiramisu. That's my tradition. Lucia, what are you making? I'm making a dark chocolate raspberry brownie, um, and then I'm gonna cover it with a white chocolate miso orb, and then pour a raspberry sauce over it. Did you wow. say a white chocolate miso orb? I did. Okay. I know. I was I'm like, like okay. okay, I'm excited about that. That sounds quite nice. I hear Lucia say what she's making, and it sounds so impressive, and I know. If she succeeds with this, it's a win, 100%. So I decide to work with sugar, which for me is a little bit easier than chocolate. And I'm hoping that I can just make some kind of a caramel nest that's dense enough it obscures the view inside. I'm working on my white chocolate and it's just not sticking to the mold. And I just know this is not gonna work out once I get in the freezer. Oh, pastry gods, be on my side. Those are some big old dubs. Looking over at Frankie cooking right now, he is really going out there by making this spun sugar dome. What is happening? It seems to be going a little bit better for him than mine. Oh, I hate this so much. He seems pretty composed. I hate it, I hate it. So we'll see. 15 minutes to get those desserts hidden. That is balancing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how did it shake? Oh, it works. Oh, look at it. I'm gonna try to save them. I'm just yeah. putting them in a in a little bird's nest somewhere far away <laughs> so that they'll be safe. <laughs> Hold on to your mittens because you got five minutes. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. We have Lucia unmolding. No, that's not gonna happen. Oh no! <laughs> so I've decided on another plan, which is I'm going to use the brownie by hollowing it out and then stuffing it with raspberry puree. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ooh, you got it. Okay, I'm impressed by that. Yeah. One minute left! Uh, oh, I'm so stressed. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm so I'm stressed. Stuck. Oh, God. Oh, it's collapsing. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Santa's here. <laughs> you did it. Creators, you both did an excellent job at creating desserts inspired by this hot cocoa bomb that went viral on TikTok. But now it's time to see if this surprise is a good surprise or a coal surprise. Lucia, why don't you tell us about what you made? So you have a dark chocolate raspberry brownie that inside has raspberry coulis, and then on the bottom is a swipe of white ganache with miso. So Lucia, I was expecting to see a dome. Uh, mine's a touch a little messy for my liking, but um, chocolate and raspberry, can you go wrong with those two? <laughs> we'll see. So let's taste it. Oh, there's my surprise. Wow, such a decadent bite. I love the raspberry because you really needed that acid to be able to cut through such a rich brownie. The flavor was awesome, but I didn't taste the white miso at all. A delicious brownie. It's fudgy, but it's cakey. It's not too fudgy. It's a good texture. Well done, Lucia. Thank you. Thank you. Frankie, tell us what you made. I made you a tiramisu. For me, it's a festive, delicious dessert, and I've tried to semi-hide it in a caramel dome. Let's all take a crack at this. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Ooh, okay. This is exciting. This is so fun to eat. It made me excited to hit it. I like hitting things. And I love tiramisu. I think the caramel works really nicely with tiramisu. I wouldn't have ever thought to put two and two together. Nice job. Thanks. Delicious. The flavor of the dome with it goes really well. So it wasn't just a added piece for visual. It actually accented the dish. Thanks. 
Thank you. You've both done a great job. But one of you surprised us more than the other. So with that, we must pick a winner. And the winner is... Frankie! <laughs> he really deserved it. Hear ye, hear ye. I hereby crown you the king of holiday cheer.